Hello, everybody, and thanks for joining us. I'm Tracy Carlos. Tonight, we know more about the two people who died. News Channel 5's Kristen Volk joins us live. And Kristen, what do we know tonight? Well, Tracy, we just got identification on both of those victims. One was 15-year-old Bryce Candy from Cleveland Heights. The other was 34-year-old Tracy, I'm sorry, Kelly Walker from Cleveland. At least one of them was at the beach for a family gathering. Cleveland police tell us that they don't know whether the two knew each other. The incident happened at 4.15 this afternoon. The boy was swimming in 10 to 12 feet of water when he started to struggle. Police say that's when Walker, the woman, went in to help him. Once it became clear that both were in trouble, other people nearby jumped in to help. Those people pulled the woman from the water and began CPR until rescue crews arrived. An official from the Cleveland Metro Park say water conditions were relatively calm at the time. Euclid Beach Park does not have any lifeguards and neighbors say that needs to change. Either lifeguards need to be out there or they need to stop us from swimming. I mean, if they have to have people down here, um, park rangers down here to say no swimming, then that's what they need to do because the current is bad. Kids are losing their life for no reason. Gr uh, adults are losing their life for no reason. I'm sure they did not envision the day ending like this for family and friends. I'm sure um, it's very traumatic for their relatives, family and friends. Our condolences are to those people right now. We asked whether the Metro Parks is reconsidering lifeguards at Euclid Beach Park after this latest drowning. They told us they would take it into consideration once the investigation is complete. Live in Cleveland, I'm Kristen Volk, News Channel 5.